So today we are going to be making the hummingbird earring. So there's one side I have it mirrored to be another side as well. But I started off by printing off my pattern and attaching it to Palon. But I means of tacking it down. So I use a single needle, one needle to tack it all down, different places. The edges need more attention because it tends to pull up and the string does get caught around there every now and then. But just to be safe and make sure nothing gets caught, be sure to tack down the corners pretty good when you're doing something like this. And once I get this tacked and all secured and ready to go, as you can see, then I'll start beating. And eventually, it will turn out like this. This has about 20, about 20 colors, roughly around that area. I'm not sure I haven't counted yet, but this is the end result. This one has all the paper taken out around it. This one still has paper and stuff. So let's get started. So what you want to do is just kind of have your beads just relaxed and easy to move around. Not much pressure. So I tack the first bead down and I go every two beads. If I tried doing every bead, it would take me forever. So for me, I'm starting to move. So I'm going to be taking like one to two at a time around these curves. Just like that. It does seem easy doing two needle, but it does take quite a bit of practice to get the, I guess, get your attention right. So once you get two parts where it's, you see it's not straight anymore, it's kind of curving. <clears throat> you actually want to move your line, or your bead, so it rolls. So I can roll it to the line and then bead it to the line, or on the line, whichever you prefer. And just be sure to tack it down quite good. As you can see, I didn't tack down that well, but... That's why when I go down, I pull it tight and it pulls both sides. But since these have hard points and I can't do a hard point with the uh, beadwork, I tend to just stop, just shy of it, just to where the bead will fit in that area. As you can see, these don't really have the sharp ends. They're really blunt, but they look nice. So don't ever, don't ever worry about having a sharp point in your beadwork. Because it never happens. Rarely it does happen. So just run your, your bead string through the top of your bead. And tack it down and the second one will tack down as well starting your second line I mean, if you have a really tight corner like this you're not going to start right there because it'll bump out so you want to kind of estimate down lower so about three beads looks about right the right amount of spacing to start so i'll start mine three beads down then I'll load my my beads on. This is why I like one hanks because I can just run my string through them instead of having to go through and pick them up that way. But it's my own personal preference, but you guys can do whatever. So as you can see I'm being like really abusive with my pill on. So with this, I had to kind of fold it under and hold it in a weird way to make it work. But as you can see, I did the same thing with this, but it's still flat. I'm holding the main um, piece tight back here, but my thumb and my forefinger is actually quite loose. So as you can see, I can run my finger or my needle, my needle up underneath it and with the beads around. So it's just holding it in place 
not really pushing the beads forward that uh, hard, but just enough so they don't separate and leave a big gap and not too hard where it's going to be bulgy. Okay, so we got to the point here where there's a sharp, kind of a sharp bend, but it doesn't go with the curve up the piece, kind of curves the opposite way. Tighten down the first bead and go like that, depending on how much the angle is. You want to do like two or three beads, single beads, tack down. So with this, I'm doing two beads and then I go back into tacking down two beads at a time. So on a curve, a slight curve or a big curve, it all depends on your judgment on how many beads you want to tack down in a section. So typically I kind of jump back and forth from doing a single, doing every single one to doing two, depending on how my beads line up onto the line or fit to the line. And that's the wing section. That, that roughly took about 15 minutes to do. Just that small little, just two lines. So I'm gonna go through and do a few more sections off camera and come back 